YouTube, welcome to my channel. This is Crazy Mika. Um, I just started my channel and what better fitting than to start my channel off with a DIY. I, today I decided to do a nightstand, which you're going to see. Um, I got the nightstand pretty cheap um, and then decided to that I wanted to make it more modern. So I added some paint, spray paint, um, some gold trimmings and a nice quote. If you absolutely love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comments in the comments below if you want to see more DIYs. Um, so without further ado, here's the video. Okay, so let's get started. So what you need for this project, you're going to need a drop cloth. Um, I'm just using plastic that I reused from my couch um, when I was getting it delivered. Um, you're going to need a table. Um, so my table is just a three-leg table and it comes with a glass on top. Uh, sandpaper, painter's tape, and spray paint. Um, the sandpaper that I'm using is a sandpaper that um, I will be using with a handheld sander um, in my next project. So, but any sandpaper can work. Um, just as long as you have these materials, I think you are all set. What you see me doing is that I'm wiping down the excess dust that was created from um, sanding down the legs and the tabletop. Um, I went ahead and did this already, so I'm just wiping out the excess dust. So just in case someone asks, I am using the Rustoleum Metallic Brilliant Metal Finish, and I'm also using the Champagne Pink, which I'm going to mix those two um, when I spray it on my legs. And I am also using for the top coat um, and for the base coat, I am using the semi-gloss white. So now I'm just going ahead and I'm taking my white and I'm going to use that as a base coat as well. And I'm just going back and forth in a sweeping motion to cover um, the majority of the legs um, as well as the top. Now I'm going to do a couple of coats on this. I believe I did four coats. Um, so. It all depends on the type of materials that you're using, whether or not it is porous, and it will absorb a lot of the paint. Um, mine was, so I had to use um, about three to four coats. Now, as I mentioned before, um, I did about three to four coats, so now I'm just going back in on, I believe this is my second coat of paint, um, so just go ahead and um, continue uh, spray painting or painting your piece, depending on how much um, coat you're going to need, and remember to do it in a sweet paint. One tip that I probably should say is that if you're going to do this, uh, please wear shoes. Um, for some reason, I thought I was a rebel and I did not want to wear shoes, um, even though I was right outside of my apartment. But um, I got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of paint on the bottom of my feet. So go ahead, please wear shoes. Now I'm back to do my third layer of paint. And I decided that I wanted to um, put the lights on to the table to get it um, standing up so that way I can get a better angle and I can um, spray paint the lights better than to just having them flat and I can also reach the edge of the table. Um, so that's what you see me doing. I'm just going to go ahead and um, get that third, I believe, coat on there, um, making sure that it's all covered and I get all the, si the sides as well.
Now that I have the third or fourth coat of paint on my table, I'm taking this time to create the design that's going to go on the top of my table. Um, I'm using Illustrator. Now if you don't have Illustrator, there are apps or program programs such as GIMP or um, sites like PaintMonkey that you can create this design on. Now I'm just going through um, making the right size for the tabletop and uh, my size was 20 by 20 so I'm just creating that, putting in my saying and going through and finding the perfect font for this. Now that I have the font that I like, I'm just going ahead and tweaking the placement of my words, um, making sure that they're centered and they're even um, as well. Now when you're happy with your design, just make sure you go ahead and save it. Um, I saved mine, brought it to my local printer, um, and printed it off on their large scale printer. As you can see, I went ahead and I taped off the bottom portion of the legs of my table and um, getting ready to spray them. But before I did that, I went ahead and I protect the areas that I didn't want to get paint on with uh, just some regular trash bags. Um, and, and now I'm spray painting the legs. I'm mixing my champagne pink and my metallic. Um, I didn't want it too pink, so that's why I went ahead and I put my metallic uh, metal finish on top to give it um, a subtle look. And here's the final piece. I went ahead and I uh, let it dry for about an hour to two hours. And then I added some pieces that I had on my desk um, just to spruce it up, um, to give it some life. Um, I'm going to change it out and put some uh, trays on there as well as a lamp that I have that I still have to DIY. However, I absolutely love it. It works so well with the decor in my room and the little touch of gold on the legs make it look so much more expensive than it actually is. If you absolutely love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment box below. Let me know if you want to see more DIYs. Peace.